Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly do a GoDaddy WordPress install. And I'm also going to show you how to get GoDaddy WordPress hosting and a free domain name for just a dollar a month. Now, the first thing we're going to do, if you haven't yet, is get our GoDaddy WordPress hosting. And so we're going to head over to my website's hosting discount page to apply our GoDaddy coupon. And the link to that page is createwpsite.com slash host coupons. Or you guys can click the link in the description below this video. So once we land on this page here, we're going to scroll down and click on this GoDaddy offer here. And that will automatically apply the discount code for us and bring us to this page here. Okay, so now we're going to click on the Get Started button. And we're going to pick our plan and we're going to choose the basic plan. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to keep the 12 months selected. And then after that, we can just go down here and click on continue. Okay, now this is where we're going to select our free domain name. So whatever you want your website called, you can just enter it in here and see if it's available. And if you guys are having some trouble figuring out what you want to call your website, here's a couple of tips that can help you out. Okay, and then after that, we're just going to click on the submit button to see if it's available. And if it is, you can click on select and continue. Then after that, we're just going to scroll down. You can see that we got our promo code applied. We're just going to go to click on the checkout button. All right, and then this is where we're going to create our GoDaddy account. So make sure you guys make a note of this info because if you ever want to log in your GoDaddy account, this is how you're going to do it. So once you create your account, just click on the create account button. And then this is the payment page. Um, I'm just going to be using PayPal. Okay, and if everything looks good, it probably should be 1218, and you can click on the complete purchase button. Okay, and so our hosting has been purchased. Now what we're going to do is install WordPress. So what we need to do is actually scroll down here, and then we're going to click on this manual WordPress setup. And now this is where we're going to create our WordPress username and password. And also make sure you guys make note of this info. You're going to use this uh, username and password anytime you want to log into your WordPress website. So once you create that, you can just click on the continue button. And then once we get to this point, you guys can just scroll down here and you can select your location that you're at. It should probably be selected already. If it's not, just select it and then click on continue. All right, and now this is just pretty much setting up our site for us. And this can take a few minutes, like it says. Could take a couple minutes, could take five. So just wait for it to load and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so as you can see, it says congrats, your site is ready. Now after that, all we're going to do is click on the view my site button. That's going to take us to our WordPress website. And as you can see here, this is just the blank template that they put on it. And uh, what we need to do now is we need to go up to the top left corner and we need to click on the WordPress dashboard button. And this is where um, you're going to be able to control your entire WordPress website. But before we get into that, we're just going to add our domain. So if you click on this add domain button right here, it's going to take us to this page right here. And now just select your domain name and then make sure that box is ticked and then click on attach. Okay, and then once we scroll down here, you're gonna see it says we're working on updating our domain. Again, this can take a couple of minutes, so we'll just wait until that's finished. Okay, that's done. You can just uh, close this box and then scroll back up. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to close these pages and then we're just going to open up a new page. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your website name and at the end of it you're going to type in slash WP dash admin. Now this is the address you're going to go to anytime you want to log into your WordPress site. So now once we get to this page, this is your login page, you're going to enter in your WordPress username and password that you created earlier. And now after that, you're just simply going to click on login. And like I said, this is going to be the way you log into your WordPress website anytime you want to. And that's just going to take us back to our WordPress dashboard. And now we can start building the actual website.